all right so now let's add floor roof and make a very small cutout on the roof of this house so for that i'm going to go to surface so i'll start with the surface and here i'll click on planner so that's what we want and i'll click on this point right here so just click here okay then click on this point all right there we have it so we've added a surface here for our floor now for the roof i'm gonna add a polyline and actually i'll use a rectangle for that so rectangle is obviously a polyline so i'll select that here rectangle i'll click on this point this end point and then i'm gonna click on this end point there we have it now let's go to offset again and the distance is one fit and enter now carefully click on this polyline okay just the boundaries and again you will see this one so we need to select polyline select it and click outside there we have it now I'll go to extrude I'll select this one enter and the thickness is six inches and enter there we have it so we've added that now let's change the visual style to 2d wireframe because that's gonna make things look clear also we have this surface which is very distracting so I'll select the surface then I'll right click I'll go to isolate and hide objects so we can temporarily hide these objects and later on we can bring them back whenever needed okay now here we need to make a cutout and for that I'm gonna select rectangle again so rectangle and I'll click on this point right here then I'll just go to this point I'm not selecting or clicking here I'll simply track this point like this and approximately at this point I'm gonna click there we have it okay now I'll select this and extrude and add a height of two fit I mean this is a random value so you can select any height which is greater than one fit so enter there we have it all right now let's go to shades of gray our visual style the one which we were using and again i'll go to the subtract i'll select this roof enter then this block and enter again okay so we have the group that we needed now once again we'll make another drawing here and for that i'm gonna select rectangle again now in this case before making this rectangle make sure that this option the dynamic ucs option is active so if this option is active autocad will allow you to make drawings on any surface which you select so if this is not active and if it is not even visible then you can go to customization and select dynamic ucs okay and once it is selected just go to that status bar and activate this okay now let's make a rectangle and obviously I'm making a random rectangle in this case I'm not trying to be very precise here so I'll just make a rectangle um, somewhat like this all right now I'm gonna go to offset again and the offset distance is 5 inches and enter now select this rectangle polyline here click inside and that's it we are done again we need to press pull this thing so I'm gonna go to press pull I'll zoom in a little bit here and I'll click here all right now the height is again 10 feet and enter there we have it we've added that and once again we can add a surface so I'll go to surface planner I'll click on this one okay just look at that in this case this plane is highlighted so that's not the plane on which we want to make the drawing so now we need to just deactivate this because this is causing distraction so I've just deactivated that now I'll click on this point and then I'm gonna click on this point there we have it it's done okay so almost every single thing is now added in our drawing let's bring the floor as well for that I'll right click in the blank area I'll go to isolate and I'll select end object isolation and that will bring everything in our drawing all right so now the basic shape of our 
3D house is almost complete. We just need to fill the gaps. We need to add the door and curtain ball. Now to do that, we need to first hide some of the objects which are kind of like distraction here. So the first thing is, well, this shape here, the surface, then this solid, and then the roof and obviously the floor as well. So these are all the things that I need to hide. So I'm going to select them all, right click, isolate and hide objects. There we have it. Now that's gone. Also, we have this polyline here. So this segment is not needed. We need to just get rid of that. So I'll select both of these rectangles and I'll delete that. Okay, that's also not needed. Now let's bring, well, I'll go to home. Let's bring the blocks, the door block as well as the curtain ball block. And to insert them, you need to type I, I for insert and enter. Now browse. And I've got all those blocks on the desktop. So I'll just go to desktop and right here we have this blocks folder. Now this folder is obviously available with your download. So if you don't have the folder, go to the introduction video and download the lesson files. And that lesson file contains all the blocks which are used inside this drawing. So I'll just go to this blocks, double click. And here we need to add curtain wall. So select that curtain wall, open and okay and place it anywhere just look at that that's the curtain wall okay i'll just click here again i enter and browse this time i'm gonna select door we want to add that one and open and okay and that's our door okay so we have both the objects but we need to properly place them and to do that we need to first rotate these objects so i'm gonna select that one here the curtain wall and obviously you can select this door as well if you want and I'll go to this rotate. Well, I'll select this red axis and that's how you need to rotate this one. There we have it. Okay, so this is now in opposite direction. As you can see that this part should be on the top. This part of this door should be on the top, but it is not on the top. So let's just rotate this once again. So I'll just click it and I'll just rotate this one well like this to a complete 180 degree angle and that's it now that's the proper orientation i'll press escape and let's place them properly so i'll go to move i'll select the curtain wall first and enter now i'm going to select this point the point here and i'll just place it right over here all right so that's added let's just orbit our drawing to see whether it is placed properly or not and it's not placed properly so let's just move it so again move and i'll select this point and this should be placed here now that's good okay that's the point where we needed to place it and it's properly placed now now let's place the doors so in this case i'll select the door and once again i'll rotate this one so i'll go to rotate i'll select the blue grip and I'll rotate this to an angle of 90 degrees like this okay I'll select it again move and I'll select this one this point the lower left corner here and I'll just try to place it properly where it should be so it should be placed well we don't know the exact point here in this case where we need to place it so maybe we can take another reference okay so let's take another reference here so i'm just gonna go to move select this enter and i'll click on this point instead now that's a good reference for this part of the drawing so there we have it we have this corner i'm gonna just place it here okay that's added now i'll select it again and I'll move it to the remaining places. But in this case, let's just make some copies. So I'll just go to copy and now I'm gonna select this one. And I'll zoom into this area and I'll just place it here. And let's zoom here. And let's place it here too. And here as well and escape and we are done so all the doors as well as curtain walls are now added in our drawing
all right so now the basic outline of our house is complete let's start adding the 3d blocks inside this but before adding that we need to hide some of the objects which are not needed here and that includes this roof this one too and the walls and so on so first let's just hide these two objects so i'm gonna right click isolate and hide object all right now i'll type i and press enter and i'll go to browse and here again in this blocks folder i've got a lot of these blocks which i'll insert inside this drawing one by one so i'll start with this tv wall so i'll select that open okay let's place it maybe here i'll repeat that so i'll press enter to repeat the insert command then browse this time i'll insert table open okay and maybe we can add it here again enter browse stairs open okay and here again enter browse and so far open and okay there we have it and this is just the attribute window which will simply click okay here we don't need to add anything here right now again enter browse refrigerator and open and okay and there we have it and just one more time enter browse bed and table and open and okay there we have it so all of these blocks need to be added here right inside this drawing one by one we'll do that but i'll start first with this wall this is the wall which should be added somewhere here so let's just select that one okay but before adding that wall inside of a drawing let's rotate this one okay so for rotating this i'll select it i'll go to modify and i'll click on this rotate icon 3d rotate and now we need to rotate along this blue axis so i'll select this one and manually i'm going to rotate this one like this so just i'll click on this tracking vector there we have it that's the rotated one which we need all right now we need to also increase the thickness of this one a little bit to the left and to the right and for that i'm going to use press pull command so right now this object is a block you can clearly see that so i'll select it and i'm going to explode it so select then type x and enter and do that only once so now if you hover your cursor you'll notice that this is no longer a block and obviously this one is still a block that's fine we don't need to explode it but this object is no longer a block so now i'll go to this press pull and it's not able to select that point so now in order to ease this process i will change the visual style so right now shades of gray selected i'm going to just change it to 2d wireframe now that's a lot easier so i'll select press pull again and once again i'll just go to this area right here and look at that now it's able to select that so we need six inch distance so six inches and enter and i'll repeat the process for this side as well so just orbit this drawing a little bit like this and pan it and i'll select this part here and once again six inch towards this side there we have it and i'll press escape so there we have it that's what we needed so now we have it in place let's just move it right where it is needed so first i'll just change my visual style back to shaded with edges now i'll select this along with this one this block inside that so both of these objects should be selected then move and i'll select this corner this end point actually and i'll move it on this end point right there all right now let's use free orbit and there we have it okay so this is now perfectly fitting this wall although it is right now merged inside this wall a little bit but that we can take care of so we can just select them both so this one or maybe we can just leave that i'll select that wall only i'll select move I'll click on any random point and I'll move towards left and I'll add a distance of three inches just to fit this properly on both the sides. There we have it. Now let's insert other blocks. 
so for adding that once again I need to just orbit this drawing and now I'll start with this stair so this is just a single block I'm gonna select it again 3d rotate and I'll select the, this blue gizmo and I'm gonna rotate it like this well this is the angle once again I'll grab this green one and I'll rotate this one like this there we have it now we need to just move it so I'll select move select the block enter I'll grab this point and I'll move it exactly here like this in a similar way I'll move the rest of the objects in their respective places so I'll start with the table now and move and well let's go to this top view and that will ease the process of moving this object I'll also hide the grid we no longer need it and I'll click at a random point somewhere here and I'm gonna just move this table on this carpet area and maybe here that looks good all right now let's select this one the surface and I'll hide this one okay and let's move the remaining object so we have the sofa I'll grab it move once again this should be moved here it is just under that stair again I'm gonna select this one and I'll zoom in a little bit here modify mirror and I'm gonna make a mirror image of this okay and there we have it we need to again tweak these uh, settings a little bit we need to just move it properly so that everything is properly present inside of a drawing so maybe I'll just move it to the left a little bit again I'm gonna grab it and I'll just move it here a little bit inside like this okay now we need to move this refrigerator so I'll select then move and this should go here okay very close to the walls right here and then this one so again rotate and well we can select the simple rotate also for this case so I'm gonna select and then from any point I'll rotate this to an angle of 90 degrees like this again I'll select it then move and I'll move it inside this room and then we can just precisely place it we can tweak its position well like this then copy I'm gonna make another copy like this all right so now it looks like everything is perfectly in its place but we need to verify that thing once again and we'll verify that result from a different view so we are in the top view I'll click on this side so that the view changes 90 degree to that side and look at that from this view we can clearly see that these things are out of place so we need to just move it a little bit upwards all of these things so I'm gonna select this one and also well this one just like this well everything is selected all right now I'll go to move but before going to the move I just need to make sure that this is the view so I'll just click here and I'll select view and we need to just repeat the process once again the process of selecting these objects so carefully select only these objects not anything else so I'm gonna select that and then move I'll click at a point and I'll just eyeball it and I'll try to move it here like this there we have it and it's perfectly inside now let's check other objects okay everything looks perfectly fine here and everything is right where it is supposed to be let's change the visual style just to make things clear and I'll go to this top view okay now everything looks perfectly normal except this one this looks a little bit off so let's just place it where it needs to be yes it is a bit off so I'm gonna select this move command I'll select this one and I'll move it here now that's also perfectly fine so these are some of the final tweaks that you need to do in order to place objects properly where they should be placed inside your drawing once you're done with this you can change your visual style back to shaded with edges and if you want to bring everything back in your drawing you can do that as well so let's right click isolate and end object isolation and everything is back in our drawing again